special light angel here, and I'm bringing you some life wisdom. Just giving it to you from my heart to yours. So if you like what you see today, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more, I will be uploading more videos. Hit that subscribe button and ping that little bell. And now, for today's topic. Hello, beautiful. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. And I'm just going to dive into some awesomeness and give it to you. So first thing is, do you ever feel like um, people are not respecting or caring about your wants and your needs? Or you find yourself maybe getting frustrated anytime someone asks for you to do something? Or you find yourself more quick to... Um, speak angry words and you don't feel that this is maybe like you exactly but you're definitely on edge or maybe you feel really drained maybe you actually do feel people are taking advantage of you and all of these are really just symptoms of not having strong healthy boundaries for yourself and um we're going to just dive into what boundaries are and a little bit about them. So a boundary obviously is not going to be um, just a line or a wall. It's really more something that you have put into place to help protect yourself. Whether it's going to be your physical body or your mental health, your emotional well-being, a spiritual belief, um, any of these really count in the areas that you are working to protect, protect your energy in those areas, and be able to utilize your full self so that you can go and do what you want to do or feel that you have better relationships with people because you have been able to actually put something into place that lets them know. So communication is always a huge part of boundaries, but there's different kinds of boundaries that we can explore. So I would say there's a total of three boundaries in which um, would be your three main types of boundaries. So the first one is hard boundaries. With a hard boundary, there is no room for maneuvering. There's not room for negotiation. There's not room to um, compromise. This particular boundary for you is something that you have put into place in your life. And like I said, it could be protecting your body, your mind, your spiritual belief, your emotional state, or simply even um, just your own personal energy, how many spoons you have to actually give. Um, it can vary from day to day how that is, but a hard boundary is always a no. So anytime somebody asks you a particular thing, maybe you don't like hugs. Um, I personally love hugs, but if I were to approach you and you don't like hugs and ask if you wanted a hug every single time, that's a hard no because you don't like them and that's okay. That's a physical boundary. You could have um, other boundaries like nobody calls me after 9 p.m. because you're going to bed. Uh, in order to enforce that, you don't, A, answer your phone, but B, you turn your phone off so that even if somebody does try to contact you, you're not going to speak to them until you're awake in the morning because you value your rest and that's something that keeps you going. So those are just a couple examples of what a hard boundary might could be. There's so many different things that um, could apply. So if you're watching this and really trying to do some introspection, reflection on your own self and what it is that you want and need and desire in your life. And um, in that, you recognize that maybe somebody has done something to you and it should have been a hard no and you didn't stand up to that. And um, you can reflect now to move forward so the next time something happens, you can put your foot down and say, no, I'm not good with this. 
Um, I'm not going to allow you to talk to me like that. I will leave the room. I'm not going to answer my phone. I'm not going to allow you to touch me. Um, no, you cannot drive my car. Whatever it is, you're putting your foot down and you are putting that barrier of protection for yourself and going on. A soft boundary is going to have more flexibility. So maybe with the hugging situation, you normally don't like a hug, but perhaps you feel comfortable enough with the person asking you a hug that you will drop the boundary in that moment or for that person and it's more negotiable. So these are uh, oftentimes boundaries that we might have put into place to protect us. Maybe it's because we've experienced a past trauma and we're protecting an emotional wound. But if you're the kind of person that is trying to push yourself to grow and to heal and to overcome any of your past tragedies, it might be something where you're sitting in a place of discomfort um, with this boundary. And so normally you've put into place maybe for a good period of time you've had this boundary in your life and now you're at the point where you're really trying to push through something or to heal something and allow yourself to maybe let that boundary go in an effort to push past your own comfort zone, to push past your own boundaries in order to be an allowance of that. Um, another soft boundary could just be something that um, maybe with the phone call example, for instance, you don't normally talk at that time, but there's been a family emergency and so now your phone is on or you know that your best friend is having a really hard time and so you're being an allowance of communication for them in that moment, but normally that wouldn't be okay. The number three uh, type of boundary that I would assign is a fluid boundary. So um, you might have something set into place, especially if you're in a relationship with somebody, you have a partner, and perhaps on the normal, everyday, regular basis, you're very physical, touchy-feely with one another. But there's always going to be those days that you just don't feel like being touched, you're having a really crappy day, you're feeling really sick, um, the body just doesn't feel good. There, there are things, um, you're in pain, you don't want to be touched. So a fluid boundary would be, normally I allow this, but sometimes it's not allowed, or sometimes I don't allow this and sometimes I do. And it can really change from moment to moment, day to day, depending on the state of your body, depending on the state of your mindset, depending on just where you're feeling completely emotionally and how it is for you at that. Um, so with these three kinds of boundaries, it's really important to learn how to identify for yourself where you have the hard boundary, the soft boundary, or a fluid boundary. And it's not some overnight process. It really, uh, at least for me, has been a lot of reflection. And that's when I've been able to pinpoint. And a lot of times I haven't actually recognized when a boundary has been crossed until it was actually crossed. And then again, I go back because this is our brains do we keep thinking, thinking, thinking. I go back and I reflect and go, oh, whoop, that's why. That's why I'm really upset about this. Um, the first time I ever had boundaries really brought to my attention, I was in an argument with my significant other and it was, it was pretty bad. And as soon as I had this concept just brought to my awareness, it was like, light bulb. Oh my God. Everything made sense. Like the whole reason we were fighting is because neither of us had a recognized a boundary inside of ourself and B had the ability to communicate that to the other person. And so C, both of us had overstepped each other's boundaries that were non recognized, non communicated. And, um, we're having this intense argument. And I can reflect on other arguments I've had with people in my life, which have also been a result of boundaries 
that have not been put into place either by myself or by the other person. So uh, just a little reflection and uh, hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight so when it, you're doing your own internal work you have something to kind of uh, think about and a direction to go. Good luck with working on your boundaries and voicing them out so that you can have really good, healthy, and beneficial relationships with the people that are in your life right here and moving forward. May you have a wonderful and blessed day. Namaste.